Holly and Van and Carmen been living there the whole time and it's not in their name. So now all of a sudden, the other apartment dwellers are complaining saying it's a dude there that is not on the lease. I'm saying to myself, while she's at work, what the hell is he doing? Is he in there drunk kicking shit? I don't hear nobody out there. Oh, no. oh, no. Hey, I can try and do this video while these two are asleep. They've been fighting. You hear me? Not fighting, fighting, but Lou don't want no parts of the baby. Please let this change. I'm worn out. So at this point, I'm just trying to keep them two separated. If Lou wants to be bothered, then I'll allow him to be bothered. The baby, on the other hand, wants to do everything that Lou does. Everything. While they're both taking a nap, let me try and get this done. All right, so we doing the hip hop Helen of Troy from Jay-Z to Nas. From, what is this? From seduction to scandal, Miss Carmen Bryant. A week passed, then two weeks. By the end of the month, Nas was still living with me. I didn't know if he even looked around for another option and I didn't care. I wanted him to stay. While I went to work, Nas stayed home or occasionally went to the studio. I came home and cooked every night and happily catered to his every need. We were perfectly content. See, fucking Cameron, Carmen, you the goddamn problem. You the problem, Carmen. That's why these ninjas so bitch assness now. How the hell you gonna go to work? pay all the fucking bills, then come home and cook for the nigga. You the problem, girl. My girlfriends, however, weren't too thrilled about my new boyfriend. I ain't thrilled either, girl. He using you calm. My girlfriends, however, weren't too thrilled about my new boyfriend. He's just using you, girl. He doesn't even have a car, no money, and he's not contributing to any of your bills. Don't worry about what I'm doing, I'd say. Nas is doing the best he can to finish his album. I don't care if he's focused or not. I'll stand behind him 100%. And she the reason why Fish Dinners only cost $40. In 2024, how did you just let this happen? Back in the day, a fish plate was, a quick fish plate was $100. How did you let this happen? Is the economy that fun? Don't worry about what I'm doing, I'd say. Nas is doing the best he can to finish his album. I don't care if he's focused or not. I'll stand behind him 100%. Most important, we were in love. How many times I'm gonna tell you that love don't pay for bills. My friends acted like they couldn't understand the kind of love Nas and I shared, even though their situations were no better. Okay, touche. Three months later, I was pregnant again. Gotcha, you got a Judy. Every ninja she meet ain't, sh and she give each one of them babies. You know why? Because getting her pregnant is a lick. Who wouldn't want to have a woman that has her own house, her own car? Now, she got about five, six kids. That's because in her mind, she believed that in order to seal the deal in a relationship, you're supposed to give just about every man you're in a long-term relationship with a child. How about this girl get married? do that yes yeah, she had a good government job yes she had her own house yes she had her own car and yes she could afford her children with help from the government now because the ninjas she meet were not contributing to the household but those ninjas knew if i get her pregnant then i got a place to stay for a from while the ninjas aspect it wasn't because they wanted to have a child with her 
and they loved her, it was because they wanted to secure shelter and privilege with the woman. If I get her pregnant, you know she the type to try to stay with a ninja no matter what. So I'm going to get her pregnant. Child. And you know who be getting caught up like that? Kansas. Them Kansas women, man, they believe in having a baby by every nigga they meet. Three months later, I was pregnant again. Nas was empathetic when I gave him the news. Carm, I want you to keep the baby. Like him, I was still in mourning over the last. But I was just settling into work and was unprepared for a child financially or emotionally. It was only our fourth month together. And though everything was going strong, it couldn't hurt for our relationship to grow to another level before we had a child. I had always wanted to be a parent and I finally found the perfect person to share it with. But I knew we were too young to take on this type of responsibility. Promise me this, Nas says. If there's a next time, we'll keep the baby. So now she goes into explaining how the true Nas is coming out. You done got pregnant by this dude, I think one, two, three times. Y'all been together for four months. Y'all love each other. And now you're starting to find out who this ninja is. I'm telling y'all my whole life, I've been taking my time forever. The one time I let a ninja get me, and I ain't gonna lie, I was shocked. He only knew me, what, a month? Mm, no, I'll pass. He was like, you my woman. You need to, Baba. I mean, he, 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 I was confused. I'm your woman? We only been talking for about three weeks. At the fourth week, he was asking me to put his cars on my insurance. What happened was they're walking together. Um, a dude speaks to Carmen. The dude name is Black. Nas stares him up and down like, nigga, don't talk to my woman. Mm-mm. That's competition. This is my lick, not yours. So then the dude, Black, says, look, relax. I been knew her. Ain't nobody trying to get at Carm. Carm goes into the store. By the time she comes back, the ninja is hit up, hurt up, bad, okay? On top of that, the people in the building had started complaining on her talking about there's somebody living in the apartment whose name is not on the lease. I'm sorry, what? The apartment is still in her mother's name. Holly and Van and Carmen been living there the whole time and it's not in their name. So now all of a sudden, the other apartment dwellers are complaining saying it's a dude there that is not on the lease. I'm saying to myself, while she's at work, what the hell is he doing? What, what is he doing? Is he in there drunk kicking shit? I was sick with worry that Black might retaliate. A vengeful visit still seemed imminent the next morning when we got a call from Shasha. The rental office claimed they had received numerous complaints about a tenant living in the apartment who was not on the lease. The real was they wanted us out so they could double the rent. Mm. There was nothing Shasha could do. Nas suggested we stay with his mother on a temporary basis. Nas and I had to be together and this seemed like the only way. Next stop, Queensbridge. I was officially a resident of Queensbridge. Although I had been to Nas's mother's house many times, I didn't know what to expect from actually living in the projects. Nas first took me to Queensbridge the morning after he proposed. I liked Mrs. Jones at first sight. Her warm personality made visits to her home a pleasure. On that first visit, we walked up to a typical scene in the courtyard. 
there was a small six inch TV perched on a vinyl chair with a ripped seat, phone poking out in places. The set was powered by an extension cord that snaked all the way down from an apartment on the third floor. Now that's nigga shit. Two guys in their late teens were sitting on a bench in front of the TV, battling it out on a PlayStation like they were in their living room. Okay. I mean, okay. That is so ghetto, I said. Where they supposed to play, Carm? If they can go to all that trouble to juice up their PlayStation, they can go get a job and get their own place. Pause. I'm talking a lot in this. As I've gotten older, my judgment has totally depleted because a lot of times in situations, people be having mental issues. People be having issues where they are illiterate. People be having undiagnosed mental issues. People be having Asperger's or on the spectrum and their parents never got them checked Does out. Does this dude even have the mental capacity to keep a job? Cause sometimes it be social skills. Sometimes it be the education. And that's the really shit I've ever told y'all today. We moved our things over to Mrs. Jones's two bedroom apartment on the 41st street side of the bridge. She opened her home to us with Southern hospitality and treated me like family. After a few days after I moved in, my friend Renette came over to visit. She stopped short at the door. Calm, this is a pig style. and Jabari were total slobs. If you're not given the tools to clean, believe it or not, it's some people in life that don't even know how to clean their house. You're like, what? You just grab a broom and clean. I promise you. I know people that don't even know where to start cleaning. Their family is filthy. They are filthy. And their children are filthy. It's because they don't even know. They were not given those tools. You see what I'm saying? Just like a person maybe haven't been given the tools to be able to get up every day. If they drop out of school, how do they have the discipline to, to get up every day and go to work? So if your mother is a filthy pig, you want to be a filthy pig. And if you don't change the cycle, your children are going to be filthy pigs. How can you live here? It was just... She and I in the apartment, so she was free to speak her mind. Renette cleared away newspapers, bills, and dirty dishes to make space for her purse on the dining room table. She looked over to the living room, and it looks like somebody took a razor to the couch, she said. That's exactly what happened. Nas told me he was watching his neighbor's son and took a nap. When he woke up, the couch looked like somebody took a machete to it. Well, I have to clean this house. I can't take it. You know how many times I looked at somebody's filthy and stinking house and was like, matter of fact, pause, it's a dollar store around the corner. Y'all, I swear to Jesus, I ain't never seen nothing before in my life. And I said, ooh, they need to hire me so I can come through and clean this shit. It is so out of pocket you hear me so i ain't never seen nothing like this in my life let me see if i can find some pictures Anyway, Renette was like, I'm going to go try and clean this shit up. She, she couldn't take it. 
I'm getting the hell out of here. This is a filthy pig style. You live here. You stay here. And don't bring your virtues to work with you. I eventually did resort to house cleaning just to keep myself occupied in the evenings. At first, I tried hanging with Nas and his friends after work. The move back to QB was good for Nas in a way. When we were forced to move back in with his mother, it signified to his friends that maybe there was no money. Maybe he was really just a struggling artist, just one of them, despite his Columbia Records affiliation. D uh, 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 didn't we just have a... Uh a conversation about them aspiring rappers? Okay.